Sonic stands where we left off in the middle of Station Square, surrounded by his failures, unsure about where he. Okay, we w he's impatient. We know how fast he needs to go. That's where the cops go. They go down here. We can't follow them because Sonic is not a cop. We have to find Amy. She should still be in this city. All right, so keep looking around until we find Amy. We were in Twink Twinkle Park. Then we went into Cybernet Inc. for the Speed Highway. Trains are on strike, so I don't have to work. Ha <laughs> ha! So much spare time now. Ha 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 ha! He's very happy about the whole thing, but, I mean, what's he going to do about money? Well, maybe he has some stored away. What about these guys? They're still, they should be still be on strike. Any updates? We got a chance to talk everything out. Hope the two sides don't make a lot of demands. Compromise is how things get done. They're sorry for any problems. You're having problems, right? Of course, sorry about that. Sorry about the... You know, you guys did not cause my problems. My problems have been caused by a mad scientist who trying to destroy this entire city. I mean, that's a lot of stress that Sonic is under. Those three over by the pool, they, he'd wish they'd do that someplace else. So what are, what are they doing by, maybe we should take a look at what's going on by the pool. What are they doing? What are they, there they are, there's three people. You know what I think is neat is that Sonic can die in this pool. It seems like a strange addition. Like, it's like the first area in the game. You can just drown yourself in this. Those three people don't seem like they're doing anything weird. Yeah, there's the music. The worst part is that nobody feels guilty. It's a bad ending when, you know, someone's got to feel guilty. That's the only way I can feel good about myself. What are they talking about? Can you believe it? He was seeing another girl. I can't believe this! But who was seeing who? I don't understand why you two were so angry. Try to relax, okay? I'm not sure if he was seeing another girl, or are these the two girls involved? I don't know who they're talking about, but I guess the manager doesn't like when they gossip by the pool. I don't know, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal to me. Um, oh, what we should probably do is try to do this. We can go up here. There's like a secret thing. Here's some rings. There's a door. We can't get to the door before it closes, though, so we're going to have to try to use our light speed dash. Ah, uh, it already closed. That's not going to happen. Let's see. Th there we go. Did I get inside? Yep, I'm in here. There we go. We got it. We got the Fruit Loop. This is the Crystal Ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. All right, Sonic's got a bracelet, and with it, we can do our light speed dash faster, I suppose. You know, it's it's an it's an ad, it's like an accessory. He's got like a little bangle on right now. It's nice. Um, well, something else we should probably do is head to the Chow Garden, because I have some animals. Sonic's carrying some animals on him. Oh, do I not have animals? I had animals at the end of that last level. I don't seem to have any now. I can whistle. X doesn't do anything. Maybe I'm misremembering things, but I thought if I had animals at the end of the level, I could drop them off here. It doesn't seem like I have them, though. Okay, so here we can learn about how to do this. There is a, a lot of information. What are they? Tiny, cute, and mysterious. They're adored by people. They live in the garden. It's where you can breed and raise them. How do you raise them? Very easy. That's very good. They're eggs. They hatch. You can hatch them yourself. How do you do that? The child's personality will change depending on how it's hatched. So try to do it various ways. How do you feed them? Oh, not, not that one. No, sorry. Sonic, I know Sonic is impatient, but we're reading this. 
feeding them. They love fruit. They will grow up to be healthy. Very simple. Fruits go on the trees in the chow garden. Press the action button to grab it. Shake with left stick. Fall off the tree. Great. Small animals. Chow love to eat small animals. Have you seen them? In the action stage, you'll find them. Give a small animal to the chow. The chow will absorb it into its essence and act as the animal would. They change according to the small animal that's given to them. Try giving various animals to the chow to see how it adapts. Caring for the chow. If you like to be petted and carried around, I mean, that's just everyone. That's everyone. They do not like it if they are attacked by a spin attack or a punch. Again, this is just everyone. Again, just everyone. This is describing everyone, people in general. Come, Sonic, please. It's very rude. You're being obnoxious, Sonic. Uh, flowers. Okay, so... <clears throat> when the flowers around the chow start to bloom, it indicates that they're t it's time for them to breed. If you can get two chow together, the chow may lay an egg. Let's ignore what they have to do to make that happen. We're not going to pay attention to that. They love fruits. They all affect chow in different ways. Build up the stamina, help win the race. About time. Chow Garden has its... Ch this t it's the hyperbolic chow chamber. It's only at Time is only active when we're here. If you have many gardens, you don't need to worry about the particular time raising a chow. There are multiple gardens about the chow race. Chow must have high, sk high skill levels and stamina. Encourage the chow. Oh, there's one right there. There was a chow. There was an, a living chow in the garden. Yo, have you guys been good? Are you talking... Who you t are you talking to the Chow? They can gain abilities such as running, flying, swimming, strength, giving various types of by giving its various types of small animals. They eat lots of fruit, gain stamina. Check the skills and stamina when you pick it up. Press any whistle, attack, jump button, cheer them on. The more you encourage your Chow, the more stamina the Chow will consume. Pace your encouragement. Don't use all your encouragement at once. That's why would anyone do that? All right. Here we go. Pick it up. This is its... Yep, it's happy. It loves it. It also has zero stats. I can throw them. Oh, I can pet. Pet the chow. There we go. Pet. Petting it. Pick. Put. Pick and throw. Uh. So, um... Th should I... I should get the fruit, right? Get the fruit. Let's see. Um, grab. Okay, grab. Shake. Shake it. There we go. Pick it up. This fruit is as big as you. The chow can eat. S oh, there's another one. I gotta shake these fruits off. Oh, was there only the one? I thought it was a second one. I guess not. Maybe it's not hungry right now. It's just sitting there with the fruit in front of it. It looks happy, though. It looks happy. So here's some... Here's some eggshell. I don't know if it needs to do anything with the eggshell. Oh, no, there are two. There are two broken eggshells. There's another one somewhere around. Unless the two chow just ate each other. Like, one of them ate the other. I guess it's possible. What? What's the black... What's the chow black market? What is that? I think these are teleporters to other chow gardens if I unlock them. Just want to read, read the thing? Warp hole. It's a bad name for one of these. This is the warp hole. Transport the chows around to different chow gardens. Name machine. Records the chow's name. Give the chow a cute name. You know, I seem to remember that back in the Dreamcast version, there was an option to put the chow in your VMU 
and then you could take the VMU out of the controller, and then it would be like a Tamagotchi. I never really used that, but I remember, I vaguely remember being able to do that. Of course, the PC doesn't have that. But, like, that was, like, the main purpose of the Chow. Like, it was like a, a pet, you know? You could take, carry it around and do things and press buttons. And then you would then put the VMU in the controller and put it back in the game. Is what you would do. Um, let's see, what should we name it? I'm just giving a side eye to the chat right now, if anyone wants to... People are suggesting baby. What kind of... You can't name a baby baby because then they're not gonna... If they grow up, they're gonna grow up some point. They can't be named baby the whole time. Just... It, you can't do that. You could name an adult, so then it would grow up to be what it's named for. Um... Well, okay, I think, uh... I, I think I see what we're probably gonna name it. We'll just name this one, uh, this one Rio. Hopefully this one doesn't have to ever avenge us for anything. There we go. This is baby Rio. The stats are still very low. There were two eggs. Oh no, there's a second one. There's one over there. Didn't I just... Oh, there it is. It crawls really fast. Okay, we gotta name you. Come on. There we go. Alright. And, of course, what are we gonna name the other one? But, of course... There we go. We got our two... Two chows, happy chows, growing up, growing up well, growing up good. Let's see, does anyone want to eat anything? Okay, he seems like he's actively eating it. Good. All right, what about this, um, what is the chow black market? Wow, this is, uh, some shady business. I can buy some stuff with my rings. Um, what can I buy from you? I can buy eggs. I can buy the hero fruit. The the dark fruit. That's just a jalapeno. What's dark about that? There's the chow fruit. The round fruit. Delicious triangular fruit. Hu oh, I love huge apples, but I don't have enough for that. Ve that looks like a mushroom you might be able to get another life from, if I'm looking at that right. Uh, sure, we'll buy a very nutritious mushroom. Um, well, that's for one of them. I guess I should buy one for the other. Maybe we'll buy, uh, we'll buy the dark fruit. We'll buy the dark fruit. There we go. Yes. I can, I can, wow, Sonic only can carry one item at a time. I guess it makes sense. He doesn't have pockets. He needs to get some shoes with pockets. Okay, we got this thing. Here, my son. Consume of the one-up mushroom. Let me see it change you. Well, I mean, I guess he's done with it. All right, do you want some of them? Nope, sorry. Do you want this? They both are partaking of the mushroom. All right, I guess it is a big mushroom. They weren't able to do... Oh, no, he's doing it. Okay. Okay, they both got part of the mushroom. That's all right. That's fine. Let's go to the chow race. I mean, these two seem too young to actually enter in a race, but I guess it's just a begin. We're not actually exploiting our children by putting them in the beginner race. I don't think so. All right, <laughs> this is the neutral child. This is also a neutral child. Um, well, we know Ryo is very good at running, especially round tables. Uh, let's... I'm, you know, these don't indicate any kind of difficulty. I'll just, go, I'll just go with the first one. All right. So, press any of whistle, attack, jump button. Oh, there's some, like, 
glitches happening on the screen for every few seconds. Put your chow on. All right. I have to make sure that I uh, I spread out my encouragement. I'm pressing buttons. I don't know if I'm doing it too slow or too fast. It's it's hard it's hard to say. I'm not doing well though. I mean they're all pretty even though. They're not Oh, I'm sparkling. You can do it! Well maybe oh no, no, maybe maybe you can't. I mean you are in the in the final four. That's something. Okay, we didn't win. Oh, what? Uh, we didn't. We we got fourth. I mean, that's not bad for the first time. That's it's. You could have done a lot worse. Let's try entering R Rio. Um, what is the amethyst course like? I'm not really sure how the encouragement system works, though. Oh, that one's got a big smile. Big toothy smile with sharp teeth. Like, how often should I encourage? I mean, we are in first place, but I don't think that means a whole lot right now. We're all so close together. Sonic can only look on and try not to be disappointed, because Sonic, of course, wins every race. So... Sonic has to show some some empathy and put him... Oh no, number six is in the lead. He's in the lead. Number one is falling behind. Sonic has to show some empathy and put himself in the place of these beings who aren't as fast as him. Beings who don't roll around at the speed of sound. Oh, we're going longer. We're going further. Well, number one is in third place, so... We're in second. We're in first. Number one is in first. Is, is big encouraging one of the chow? I didn't realize he, that one of the chows was his. Come on! That's Amy. I, I heard Amy. Where is our chow, by the way? It looks like we're following the one in the lead, but the cursor says this is number four. Oh, wait, there's one way in the lead. Is that ours? Did he fall off the course and, like, land there or something? How did he get... How did he get over there? Hurry! I mean, I guess that is us in the lead. I don't... I'm not. We'll have to look at the replay as to how he did that. Go! Did we won? I don't know anything that just happened in that whole race. I, I, I sure. All right, we we raced. Um, we did good, I think. Well, Rio's stats still are all zeros. I mean, he has to eat up and grow big and healthy. I, I don't. Maybe we'll come by again and do some more races. I don't know. I guess 
Well, I mean, okay, we'll pet. We will. We will pet to inform the child that a good job was done. Where's the other? Where's where's other Rio? And when you're a parent, it's so easy to lose track of your kids. I only see one. Here's the other one. Oh, no, there. Okay, there. Oh, you're drowning. Oh, but look, the stamina stat. Stamina stat went up. See, let me pick that up. See, stamina's going up. Let me look at, at other Rio again. No, no stats went up in this case, but with first Rio, the the stat went up. I don't know why. I don't know why. This is this is odd. Someone's saying to give the shell to the baby. I, does the baby want the shell? No, hold on. Put, put down. Get shell. Do you want? Does I don't know? I guess not. I guess. Do you want? What do kids want? It looks like eating is happening. Where is other Chow? They move around so fast. I guess that's why they... I guess that's why we race them, right? Because they're such fast things. And they're so small and they get in all the crevices. I do not... I don't see the other one again. That one's still crawling around. I hope the other one didn't drown or anything. I don't see it in the pool. Also, it does strike me that maybe a pool in, like, a nursery is probably, like, a bad idea. Oh, here's the other one. I think that's the other one. You want... Hold on. Do, do you, well, this is, this is Rio with a Y. So you can eat that mushroom. Okay. Stamina's going up a little bit. Let's get the rest of this mus mushroom eaten. Here's Rio with an eye. You, you eat that. I mean, I think everyone's doing okay. Seems like everyone's doing fine. Yeah, your stamina went up because I did that. All right, I'll just, I guess I'll just leave him here. Maybe if we get some more animals, we can drop them off here and the chow can eat the animals, and you will see how they mutate. That's how it works. Amy? They oh, man. Where can she be? Ah! Sonic! Help! I'll cut him off at the Mystic Ruins! Oh, Sonic has been shirking his responsibilities. He forgot to had he had to look for Amy, which was being who was being hunted by this killer robot. We were taking too much time to raise our Chow children in order to be able to become pro athletes and win races. So Sonic will be rolling his in rings for the rest of his life. Oh, the negotiations went well. All aboard for the Mystic Ruins. Okay, the strike is over. I guess a settlement was reached. Compromise was reached, but a compromise will never be reached between Let Sonic. Hey there, bolt brain! You better give Amy to me or I'll squash ya! Hey, what's happening here? Shoot! I've lost her again! You know, I don't mean to judge, but I am... For the fastest thing alive, I'm not impressed with Sonic's speed here. He had plenty of time. 
to fight that robot before the the egg carrier somehow snuck up on us. You wouldn't think something that big and loud could sneak up, but it can. It's very stealthy. Oh, this door's open, by the way. And what do we find? We find... Can I move the camera around? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, we find Angel Island. We're, we found Knuckles' home. It's not in the sky. It's crashed here. Here's an explorer. I saw it. I, yeah. I mean, it would be cool if the person who made it is not trying to destroy the entire city. That is a point that no one in the city seems to realize the danger that they're in. That uh, they're all at risk at dying at any time if Eggman gets his way. Well, we can go up here. We don't need to go up here, but we can we can go up here so we can take a look at the Master Emerald. This is what Knuckles, Knuckles guards. However, it has like a little piece missing from it. You can see it there. Can't do anything with it. But for some reason, the island is no longer in the air. Knuckles is not here guarding the Master Emerald. So what is Knucks up to? Why is he a... Why is he around and f picking fights with Sonic? Getting tricked by Eggman? We don't really know the answer to that yet. Hold on, here's the thing. This is the Ancient Light. Try the light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light speed attack. Congratulations, you can now kill your enemies with the light speed dash. Do it now, Sonic. If only that monkey guard wasn't there. Hint, hint, Sonic. If only you had some way of destroying it. Good job. Nothing can stop you now, Sonic. We're heading into Red Mountain. Chase that egg carrier. All right. Eggman kidnapped Amy and her bird friend for unknown reasons. Well, Amy did say that the bird was in trouble and wanted Sonic to be the bird's bodyguard, which sounded odd at the time. But now Sonic's wondering what this, what this, what is this about? He's, he understands so little. Sonic only knows... That he wants his freedom, he wants to have his good time, and Eggman is always constantly trying to put a stop to that. Some rockets require you to push a switch. It's almost like Eggman's plans are made specifically to get Sonic's attention. Like maybe all Eggman really wants is just to spend some time with Sonic. And Eggman's always been socially awkward. I mean, that's how it is with the really smart people, the really genius people. They just have trouble relating to other people because they don't meet anyone like him, like themselves. But in Sonic, Eggman has now met another exceptional being. It's like but this one is not even human. But just like Eggman himself, Sonic does eschew traditional human society and traditions. And then deep down, he admires Sonic's confidence and his competence. He, would, he might be disappointed if one day he actually did defeat Sonic, because now he would say, well... What am I going to do now? Sonic was always there to try to stop me. And now without him, it just... Oh. No! And then sometimes a mistake like that could just happen. Because that's all it really takes. It just takes one mistake. And it could end it all right there. Because even if Sonic's the fastest thing alive, he can't fly. But no, actually, he can survive a fall of miles in the air, so that that should not have killed him. Oh, I did not dash towards the thing. 
I have 19 lives remaining, by the way. This game does have a lives system. You get so many of them, though. Like, just so many lives. I started this level with 21 lives. I have 19 left. The lives thing seems to be a, a holdover from the Genesis games. I mean, live... Okay, let's just go this way. Lives are a thing you had in video games, so what do you mean you just shouldn't... You just don't have lives anymore? Of course you're going to have lives. That... I wanted to dash at the, at the rings. Why am I falling off of these cliffs when I dash now? All right. There is a lot of dashing off cliffs here. Almost like maybe Sonic is just doesn't feel confidence in himself anymore. He's wondering what good is he. Okay, like this thing over here. Like this, this, this right here. There we go. Let me get the animal. It's, it's a really tiny gorilla. I don't know how a gorilla is that tiny. Sonic's wondering, I mean, Tails, for all he knows, is dead. Eggman's gotten all the Chaos Emeralds they found so far. This destructive god beast has been powered up with the Emeralds that, Chaos, that Sonic and Tails have recovered. If Sonic just didn't do anything... If Sonic had just not done anything at all to begin with, it would be a better situation. Oops. So it's not only that Sonic has been failing so far... The world would be in a better place if he just hadn't done anything to begin with. And now Sonic has to grapple with that. Oh, I fell. And of course, this self-doubt is now affecting Sonic's performance as he jumps around and runs. That's what's happening. That's why he's falling off of all these cliffs, you understand? You understand, right? That's why that's happening. the one up. What will I do with only my 19 lives remaining? Give me the animal. There we go. Now we head underground where the music gets pretty good.
Will Sonic made it out. Uh, he didn't find the egg carrier, but he found a capsule full of animals, so at least he freed those. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah not, not bad. Yeah. Unfortunately, Tails is alive, and he has built a new airplane. So we're going to try this again. We're going to try the exact same thing that we tried before, which is attack the egg carrier using Tails' plane, his Chaos Emerald power plane. Oh, I guess he found another... No, I guess he's still using the same Chaos Emerald that was in the first plane, right? Because he has another one in this plane, so maybe it's still the same Emerald. But we tried this before, and we're doing it again. I still don't know if this is how fast I'm supposed to be going. It seems too fast. So last time, we did successfully destroy all the ships and turrets and all that, but the, um, the egg carrier opened up the front of its ship and gave us the old Moonstone Cannon fire and blew the tornado out of the sky. So I guess we'll just need to avoid that this time. And also, we have a bigger reason to get on board. We have more of a determined reason to get on the egg carrier because Amy's been kidnapped. I mean, we got to get her. She doesn't have any way to get off this thing as long as it's in the air. Alright, Tails has initiated battle mode. When you absolutely have to destroy every machine in front of you. And maybe some things that are not machines. When everything has to die, that's what you need this mode for. I'm not entirely sure how it's different from the previous mode. It's just that it looks cooler. That way I got like the four wings and the propeller retracted. But it's, you know, we have the same attacks and all that. Again, Sonic has amazing balance. The soles on his shoes must have some kind of incredible grip. Alright. The big cannon's about to open up. We're gonna have to do battle with it. Turns out it's actually fairly easy to dodge it. I don't know what the big deal was the first time. There we go. This is just like, just, that's all we need to do. No victory cheer from Sonic and Tails. They are serious. They do it in deadly silence. Alrighty, we're in! We gotta land on the egg carrier. Whoops. Uh, I forgot something. What's that? 
There's no landing gear in this mode. What? Wow, this thing is really huge. No time to gawk now. We need to find Amy. You're right, my friend. So here we go. <laughs> With the inspirational battle cry from Sonic and the whole thing about there being no landing gear was, I guess that didn't really matter. We, we landed just fine. There was no, there was no problem. We, here we go. We need to find Amy. Where is she? She's so... Too many ideas, you fools. You haven't seen the power this vessel really has. Get a load of this. For us to get to the bridge. I hate it when he doesn't listen. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting this. The only way you can get to me is through the sky deck. I doubt if you can figure this one out. <laughs> oh yeah? Well I'll show you. Bring it on. Sonic yells at the empty air. I'll show you. Sonic will sh will challenge anyone. Anyone who tries to get in his way will be defeated. So, Tails is not the only one with a transforming plane. The egg carrier has transformed. We can't reach the back of the thing now, so we... Where's the front of the thing? Which way are we? No, we're, we're, we started from the front. We're going to the back. But now since it's changed, we have to go through this the sky... must be the way to the sky deck. That's... It must be. Now I have to go through the sky deck. Eggman probably should have just locked that door, but whatever. Wow! Alright, so the sky deck basically means that we're hanging off the bottom of the of the egg carrier. This is the only way to get to where we to get to Eggman. And there's a cannon that is going to destroy parts of the sky deck as we do this. Eggman is so determined to destroy Sonic that he's willing to destroy his own ship to do it. Fortunately, Tails can fly with his bizarre physiology where he his, whoop, where he can just infinitely rotate his tails they don't get twisted up nothing breaks it's just how his, his body works somehow he can infinitely rotate those tails at such speed that, it, that he gets lift I don't know if that's a natural gift I might think it is but then again considering tails is intelligence and his propensity for inventing. I wonder if that's some kind of bio-mod. He knew that he couldn't compete with Sonic's speed or Knuckles' strength. So what can he do? So he modifies his own body to give himself his own gift. The gift of flight. I could imagine that. Oh yeah, this is happening. Warning. Intruder alert. Cannons. Got to use the rocket by the stepladder near the fourth pillar. It's a good thing they tell you that. It's kind of... If you don't know where to go, you might be wondering what to do because you're just going around this whole thing and this cannon is just firing at the bridges and destroying them. But it does say go to the fourth pillar. Here's number three. You wonder, why doesn't Eggman modify his own body? Like, say, he confronts Sonic 
and he doesn't have any of, mach of his machines, and Sonic thinks that this will be an easy fight, but then it turns out that Eggman has enhanced himself to the point where he can destroy... Oh, thanks, Tails. He can destroy Sonic... Fi destroy him physically. Why is, why is he never attempted that? Sonic would never see it coming. Fell at the bottom. I mean, it does make sense. If Sonic's advantage is that he's going to run, then the only thing to do is to just make the floor out drop from underneath him. It happened again. Only 22 lives left. Cannon is just firing indiscriminately. It's not even aiming at Sonic. Smooth transition. Seamless between levels. Oh, what does that say? Got some warning signs here, but I can't read them because there's so much attacking me. It says, warning. Sonic something emerge at Skydeck area. Something dangerous action. Strange but very exciting is the most I can make out of that. It is very exciting, it's true. good of Robotnik to have installed all of these myriad conveyor belts that give Sonic a boost of speed and I'm sure have a very practical purpose aside from that. How do we get up? Oh, okay, Let's just do this. It's probably, probably what we need to do. Just these things are sliding back and forth because they are improp improperly secured. Eggman may be a genius, and he may have built some a fearsome battleship, but he is cutting corners when it comes to safety. What? What? That? Maybe that's why Eggman renounced society. Oh, now we're sideways. I, what would be happening have to happen with the egg carrier for this to happen? Are we crashing? Are we just like pointing down vertically? Because I don't think the 
I don't think some I don't think good things are happening with the ship if this is what's happening here. Oh, that just sent me back here. Oh yeah. Gotta avoid the things falling down from the top. Get get off that please sign. I can bounce on that and get on this. Sonic doing it backwards because he can because he's so cool I wonder if everyone else on the ship is just like just falling into the sides of the ship back and forth like what's Amy doing she, maybe she could have broken her neck based on what's happening here. I'm sure Eggman has like a secure chair somewhere, but I'm sure no one else does. Just kind of falling through this floor wall is what's happening there. Oh, camera, please. Camera, work with me here. Okay, here we are. We freed the animals. Uh. Yes! Tails hogging all the glory. Just letting us know, showing us the tails. Yeah, not bad. Showing us his signature tails. Just letting us know who the real hero here is. Is that it? It might be, but let's check out the bridge. All right, we're going to be checking out the bridge. Uh, so, as Eggman said, ha ha, you will never reach me. You have to go through the sky deck. We have made it through the sky deck. So let's go to the bridge, which I, I guess Eggman thought was completely beyond Sonic's abilities, but it seems like he's done it okay. He's doing all right. It didn't seem like it was that much of a problem. So we're going to be doing that going to be coming back in a few minutes going to take a little bit of a break come back in a few minutes as sonic is just too weird <laughs> it is too weird sonic sonic's looking for eggman his spines hunger for eggman's blood no more mr S nice sonic no more mr N nice hog no more gracious hedge ho no more blue f nice blue man we're going going to take break going to come back Sonic is here for Eggman. Nothing will stop him. But, I mean, something could stop him. Maybe there's some, like, some other things we should look at. Like, um... The secret password is Eggman. If you couldn't figure it out. Granted, Sonic is an all-ages game. Here's another Chow Garden. Okay, I dumped out all of my animals. Okay. It's feeding time. Get out here and do your, your nasty business. Look at this one. In this chow garden, we can just lie back and relax. Oh, yeah. Feeling good. There's like a an Eggman building here. I guess we teleported to whatever this is. And there, is that like a, a missile that landed here but didn't explode? Is this a safe place to raise a child? Egg. All right, you go. You go here. Oh, 
Some just an island in the middle of nowhere. Who can say where this is? We don't know. We can get here through Eggman's teleporter, but we don't actually know where we are. Well, I mean, these aren't doing anything for the time being. And we have a scientist to kill. Nothing else in here. At least they dumped out my animals. All right, we need to get to the bridge. Let's get on this. It's a horribly spinning elevator. You would get very dizzy. We got a, one of these boss fights against another character where it's not really a boss fight. He makes a very funny sound when we hit him. Resistance is futile. I mean, that's what he says, but it seems like it worked okay. Like I said, Sonic's had enough. And yes, the robot is a playable character, which we will get to at some point, but not right now. Sonic's had enough with Eggman. He's going to put him out of commission. That commission being the living world. Are you okay? Buster Wolf? The egg carrier's losing altitude. The, it's, we're crashing, but that's okay. Let's take a time. Let's take some time. To talk to some friends. Recovery system activated. So for some reason, Amy did. Sonic was about to land the finishing blow, but Amy did not want it to happen. If I'm to continue, I need to change this ship back to its original shape. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it now. All right, enough, enough of this business with the ship being in this weird shape. We've got to change it back. Oh, well, what, do we, what do we do with this? Switch on. Wings will appear on the floor. So this is the bridge. 
I don't know how Eggman gets up here. The switch to transform the egg carrier is somewhere in this room. Hmm, somewhere in the room. Where could it be? Hmm. This? Emergency alert has been cancelled. Resuming monorail operation. Sonic is look at these automatically moving levers. It's like it's like it's you don't even have you don't even have to do it yourself. The ship pilots itself. You don't have you don't actually need to be piloting it. Oh, doors blocked. Let me just get back in there. Okay, do that. I like how it's like a little train on both sides. All right, now we've it's made it go back to its original shape. Now we can walk across the entire deck, and over in the distance, we see Eggman hovering there, and is that a purple animal of some kind? Maybe some kind of large purple animal, it seems. Maybe the feline variety. Oh no! Not again! Chaos! Could this be the same beast? <laughs> oh yes! Attack Sonic! Now! Froggy? I must say Froggy! If he's your friend, I'll help you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> now I have six of the Chaos Emeralds. There's only one more left to find! I even found Chaos's missing tail! You won't get away with this, you madman! I will! You're no match for Chaos, even though he's not perfected yet! Okay, Chaos, destroy them all! Immediately! In the middle of the crisis, a voice rings out and says, Foggy? Oh no! Yes, the frog, which is Big the Cat's friend, is trapped inside the watery god. What do we? How? What do we do? How do we retrieve him out of there? Well, maybe we can like throw these, destroy these machines that are trying to freeze us, and now chaos is frozen. You know, if, if Eggman wasn't actually doing anything, this would be tricky. No way! I can't believe this! He says he can't believe it, but then he just keeps doing it. No way! I can't believe this! Oh no, my rings. I'm ringless. Okay. I am with ring. Like I said, the only ring that matters is your last one. No way! I can't believe this! Hey, I'll play with you some other time! Sonic will always be available to play some other time. But right now the game, well, this game, this battle is won. Not the entire game, but the game against Chaos and Eggman for right now. The ship is crashing. No way! I can't believe this! Sonic! Hey there, Knuckles! Glad you finally made it! I thought you got lost or something! Until we meet again, Sonic! Stop! Come back here! Sonic and Eggman are just going off the ship. Sonic doesn't care what he's going to land on. I mean, because... Because that. He doesn't need to care. Ah, I hate Eggman. Where's this?
Mm -hmm. That light! I think it's trying to show me something. Now you can play with Big. They say that that is the, the best sounding sentence in the English language. It, you can look it up. Now you can play with Big. That's what they say it is. So we got this ancient, ancient looking pyramid. And that light that's been giving Sonic advice the whole game has gone inside of it. Sonic acknowledges the light, not acknowledges that it has been giving him directions, and maybe he should follow up. Also, Sonic not thinking about his friends? I mean, a Amy tells Big and Gamma, the robot, we're all on the egg carrier, and it was crashing. Sonic just jumped off the egg carrier after Robotnik, and he was so enraged at Robotnik that he just completely forgot about them. Well, I hope they're doing okay. I'm sure... Look, they're very resourceful. I'm sure they thought of something. switches in the room to open the front door. Press this switch to raise the water level. Rise, ride the stone snake, Sonic. Do not fear the snake. It will take you where you need to go. It is not your enemy. Stone Snake is an example of, of ancient technology created far before the year the age of men. The technology of metal and circuits did not exist, but the technology of stone and water did exist. Look, don't ask me how that technology exists, but apparently it did. Look, I'm not an, an, a stoneologist. I don't. I can't tell you how the stone snake works. Yet, strangely, one of Robotnik's machines is here. I don't know how it got in here. Well, that was not that was not, that was not a good thing. I thought I would just do my homing spin dash on the box. It didn't really work that way. I went I went through I did, but I went th right through the box. I thought it would bounce off the box as one does. It I did not. But at least I got here anyway. I already pushed that one, that's right. That brought it up to the top level that we're on right now. Camera was a little bit confused there on what to do. All right, here we go. We unlock the door. And the ca camera? I Work with me here, please. Use the mirror to help guide you. Right, let's get this. Let's point at other mirrors. So I don't think we need to do. Where else would be point? There we go. Right, 
Sonic is so used to combating modern technology, the technology of humans through Dr. Eggman, that he's a little bit puzzled on how to handle this ancient tech. Who made it? Where did it come from? Was it aliens? Probably aliens. That's not. That's not what I. Let's get. Let's do that again. I only have twenty-two lives left. Use the mirror to help guide you. Just, just kind of. There we go. I guess if you know what you're doing, you don't technically don't need don't need the mirrors. You know enough to just go through the darkness. There we go. Considering how resilient Sonic is, I wonder if even this flaming boulder could do damage to his somehow impossibly rubbery body. But maybe Sonic just doesn't want to risk it. Sonic is not entirely sure of his own limits. He knows that he is strong beyond just a human or animal, but Sonic, in a way, fears his own abilities. He's not really sure where... He begins and ends. He knows that he can roll around at the speed of sound, but why... It's not about if he can, but why he can. He knows he has to go fast, but why? Sonic thinks about that sometimes. He doesn't like to talk about it much. Since, you know, he's the hero and all that, he can't let everyone else know that somehow... Sometimes he doubts himself. Doubts why he's doing the things he can do. He wonders if there's a... Maybe a greater purpose somewhere out there for him. Use the switch to light up the wall panels. You can walk on those panels when lit. Is his purpose, his destiny, just to stop Robotnik and save humanity from him? If that's true, then does that mean that Sonic needs Robotnik to find his purpose? Or without Robotnik, would Sonic just be a normal hedgehog, just lazing about in the forest in Green Hill Zone? Camera, please, I'm begging you. What would Sonic have done if Eggman never made his first move? Would he, would he have ever met Tails? Would he have ever forged that friendship? Would he ever have the self-assuredness and purpose that he has now? That scares Sonic. Where he wonders... Maybe someday this will all end. And he won't have to fight Eggman anymore. But if that happens, what is Sonic? What is he without Eggman? Maybe deep down, Sonic likes the fame. He likes the glory. He likes the adulation. Maybe if there was no Eggman, Sonic would have to create his own villain.
He hopes that day will never come. But he feels that it may. Yes! So once again, seamless. We found a room deep in the pyramid where a mural is found on the wall. What will we learn from this ancient mural? Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Wow, what's this? A mural! What's this place? Where am I? This is really weird. What? I teleported? That's way past cool. I saw a strange mural of a monster destroying a civilization, and now I'm here. What was that all about? I don't think I'm dreaming here. Hmm? Eggman! What's he doing here? Well, never mind. This time I'll get him good! Sonic puts away his confusion at the vision he just experienced in order to make room for his hatred and his anger. This time, we will get him good. And we see that deep in the middle of this wilderness, Eggman has built an enormous city. Deep down here where no one knew, no one suspected. Because who could have suspected? Who would have known? Who would have seen? I believe if we go up here, just for a second. We do find a, a large wooden bed. You know, may, maybe whoever sleeps on this uncomfortable bed, uncomfortable enormous wooden bed, maybe they would have known something. You think mail is ever delivered to this mailbox? It seems like it's just there for show. What do you what a street address would this house have? It's not even a house, it's just a bed. A wooden bed. I mean I don't think it would have even a mailing address. Anyway, we can't think about that. Let's head inside Robotnik City. Oh, some cameos. We got we got Mechasonic here from Sonic 2. This was very cool seeing him in here because, I mean, he was only in Sonic 2. But now here's a polygon version of him. And he's hanging out in that capsule. And there, of course, is Metal Sonic, who is the mechanized Sonic that we have... That, that shows up in quite a few games. So both of them are here.
hmm, what could this be? So, I guess Eggman, I assume, must play Lights Out whenever he has to open this door. It seems inefficient, but, I mean... I am not a genius scientist, so I can't say that for sure. There we go. Some advanced robots here with advanced punching technology. You can punch Sonic out of the air. But I don't know why it took Robotnik so long to figure out how to make punching robots. I don't know why Eggman feels that he needed to, des to destroy Station Square in order to build Robotnik Land, since he built, like, a huge place right here. But it's like I said last time, when we were playing the first time, I suppose. It's not the act... Oh, look at that big silver Robotnik face. This security camera right there. It's not the act of building the city that fills Eggman with ecstasy, but rather it's the concept of destroying what already exists in order to replace it with his own structure. It's not just enough for him to build a city, to build the most advanced high-tech city in the world. He needs to have destroyed the home and lives of the people who used to live there. What good is ruling your own city if no one had to suffer for you to get there? No! I don't, I don't see... I don't think that would kill Sonic. Sonic has survived some very high falls. Once again, see, I just I hit that thing, and lost my rings. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have died because I lost the rings after I died. I think we're heading down there anyway. So, uh. no. well, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. I guess we were heading up here after all. Oh no, we we are down here. Here the ham. I think the hammers. Do I hear them? That we saw before. Uh, maybe I don't see them, but we're down here on the ground anyway. I guess Sonic just had to take the long way down.
That platform just appeared out of nowhere. Just wouldn't appear until Esso was close enough. Oh, that's right. This is the best elevator that has ever elevated. No, never mind. I just... There's a gap, I guess. When you get... Mind the gap when you get on. Remember to do, like, a little jump before getting on the elevator. All right, we'll try that again. It's like a little gap. Let's jump over it. There we go. This elevator has legs, crawls up and down the shaft. I think it seems inefficient that a group of robots would have to be told something over a PA system. You'd think that they could just be sent a signal saying, hey, Sonic is here. You should probably, like, go kill him. If, if you see him, just, you know, don't let him... Instead, they have... I guess... Uh, well, okay. I guess they just have to... I guess the signal must... The Wi-Fi is weak here. Look at all these... Look at all these guys. Look at these little guys. Little crawlers. Little purple crawlers. Pink crawlies is what they call them. Do so many spin dashes on these pink crawlies. Look at me just hovering over the ground, never touching it, because there's just so many that are coming out all the time. I guess, the, I guess these are the things that are supposed to kill Sonic. I mean, they can blow up. Still, they don't seem that threatening. It seems like an extremely dangerous way of traveling over some sort of energy vortex. Again, I know Eggman does not care much about the safety of his robot workers, but that just seems unnecessary. Camera, please. Camera, I'm begging you. these rings trying to catch up to Sonic but he was just moving too fast let's see which direction am I supposed to go in here there we go practice mannequins. Made it to the center of Eggman's most tender secret place. Only one thing to do now. Yeah, not bad. Well, 
Well, if it isn't my pal, Sonic. I'm surprised you made it this far. Hold it right there, Eggman! Alright, time for the final showdown. Sonic vs. Eggman. Eggman in his Egg Viper. Get a load of this! Get a load of this! You will be attempting to give... You will be attempting to give me many loads, but I refuse to take them. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. I mean, he says that, but then he does this. It's almost like he wants to be defeated. Maybe deep down he does. Get a load of this! Get a load of this! Aha! <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Take this! Ah! Get a load of this. I guess he was waiting for the camera to turn around. Get a load of this. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, yes, Sonic. Take <sighs> I guess Eggman must be pretty durable himself if he is able to take several direct hits from Sonic's spinning quills and survive. Like, Sonic's basically like a living buzzsaw. It's no use. Give up. His quills can shred metal. See if you can make it through here, Sonic. What chance does flesh and bone have? Get a load of this! Get a load of this! Maybe Sonic himself is going easy on Eggman. <laughs> it's no, no way! I can't believe! Ah! Maybe they both feel a certain amount of sentimentality towards each other. Full systems! Full power! Eggman finally realizes, wait, Sonic can't fly. He has to walk on ground. What if I destroyed the ground? What if indeed... Give up. Ah! Ah! He's not gonna get away with this! <laughs> it's no use! Give up! No way! I can't believe this! Watch out! He's up to something. Oh, he's coming with the kamikaze attack. Oh, he got me with it. I thought I dodged. I did not. If it was just an inch further, I would have survived. Get a load of this! Still, we did avoid taking any of his loads. Despite how many times he tried to give it to us. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Take this. <sighs> Get a load of this. Get a load of this. And again, maybe Eggman just has a problem with his short-term memory. Maybe that's why he keeps doing the same attacks and patterns repeatedly and continually forgetting that Sonic is able to overcome them every time. He says, get a load of this, yet Sonic consistently dodges. Get a load of this. 
He says he can't believe this when Sonic strikes him with his razor-sharp quills. Does he not remember? Does he not remember the pain? See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Of feeling his sensitive skin being shredded by those blue quills. Get a load at this! Get a load at this! <laughs> it's no use! Give up! <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Take <sighs> or maybe, just like Sonic needs Eggman, maybe Eggman needs Sonic, because Egg Sonic is what drives Eggman to innovate and invent and create his machines. <laughs> you look at his machines and how much more advanced than they are from the first game. Like, in the first game, Sonic, Eggman's first machine that he fights Sonic with is just his flying pod with a wrecking ball attached to it. It's not impressive. It's not like this big high-tech thing. But it's because Eggman consistently is defeated that he has to innovate. He has to build more and bigger and more complex and more powerful. And now he's built this entire city full of these machines because he's been defeated by Sonic so many times. I can't believe this. All right, I'm just going to just run across the whole thing, just dash across it when I get the warning. Watch out. He's up to something. That seems like it killed him. Hey, I'll play with you some other time.
I hope you enjoyed the theme of Sonic. As Sonic rejoiced in his victory over Eggman, over mankind and technology. But it seems like something is maybe not completed, really. There was that whole thing about the ancient water god of destruction. Uh, there was that whole thing about, didn't we teleport to some ancient land where we saw a whole bunch of dead chow and there was fire and there was an echidna who said, oh no! And there were other characters that we met that seemed to be doing things and we don't know what they were doing. Select your character. And that's because, well, Sonic the Hedgehog is 100% clear, but we also have Tails. Now, Tails was with Sonic for a number of the missions, but there were parts in this game where he was separated from Sonic. What was he, what was Tails doing during those parts? Knuckles, we fought Knuckles. We don't know why Knuckles wanted to fight Sonic, but Knuckles went away after that saying he had something to handle, then showed up again on the egg carrier before it crashed. We don't know why. Amy? Amy found this bird that Eggman's robot was chasing, and we found that the bird had a Chaos Emerald, and that was the reason why. Amy was captured and was on the egg carrier for a while by herself. What was she doing up there? Big the Cat? Many questions about Big the Cat. What? Who is he? He is this large purple cat with a fishing pole who was on the egg carrier saying, Froggy? Oh no, Froggy! And why was he even there? Many questions, especially about Big the Cat. And then there is Gamma. To everyone's surprise, one of Eggman's robots is a playable character. Amy, ref Amy prevented Sonic from delivering the death blow to E-102 Gamma, saying that he helped her. We don't know. Why was that? Why what was happening there? We don't know. We've only gotten part of the story. We've completed Sonic, but we have these other characters, these five other characters that we have to go through and see their parts of the story to get the complete picture. So even though we have 100% to Sonic's campaign, there is so much we don't know, and that's just, that's just illustrative of life. Now, even if we go through life, and we accomplish our goals, and we have successes, and we think that we are on top of the world, we only have our one perspective. There's so much we don't know because we only have that one perspective. We need to embrace the perspective of those around us. We need to embrace the perspective of our friends, of our lovers, of whatever this is, as well as our enemies. And only then, only then, will we gain the total picture and we will understand the full story of life and that is what Sonic Adventure is about it's about life and part of life is of course about killing our gods and that's something that we never actually did in Sonic's Adventure so we're gonna have to next time we're gonna start Tails' adventure the adventure of Miles Tails Prower and figure out what he was doing while Sonic was doing his thing. So Sonic's adventure is not nearly over. No, it's not. No, it's not. It may be over for tonight, but it is not over yet. For, because there's a bunch of the game we need to do. So I'll see you next time as we select Tails and see things from his perspective. <laughs>